Begin standing in mountain pose, hands at your sides, palms facing out. Lift through the front of the body as you ground through the back of the body, deep in your breath. Take your hands to your heart and feel it beat beneath them as you continue to breathe deeply and steadily. Release the hands down. We're going to inhale the arms up overhead and side bend. Other side. Straighten up, release the arms. Inhale, arms and gaze up, small back bend in upward salute. Exhale, forward fold, small bend in the knees as you pedal the heels here if it feels good. To a half lift, flat back, tight core, allow the arms to weigh down, hanging loosely with a bit of a sway. Forward fold, you can rag doll here, grasping elbows or hanging the arms down loosely with a bit of a sway in the body, again allowing the full weight of the upper body to weigh down. Release your arms if they're clasped, tighten up the legs, and begin to roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. As you lift, engage the glutes, then the core to support the body as you realign in standing, stacking the joints. Inhale, arms up, hands to Kali Mudra, fingers interlaced with the index fingers pointing up. Widen your stance just beyond shoulder width or edges of the feet spilling off the mat. Tighten up the legs and core, half fold from the hips to a flat back, index fingers pointing ahead of you as you gaze down. Keep your legs straight if you can.
Engage the glutes and core, returning to standing. Take your hands low, clasped behind your back, feet remain as is. Fold from the hips, leading with your belly, stretching through the back of the legs, slight knee bend is okay. Allow the weight of your head to hang down as your arms stretch up and over and you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Release your arms, reaching for the ankles, and use your hands to draw your body deeper into the fold. Release the fold, tighten up the legs as you roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. Adjust as needed. Step your right foot back to a warrior one. Keep the back heel grounded, toes slightly turned out. Try to keep your hips and chest square to the front of your mat as much as possible. Open up to a warrior two, widening your stance further, turning the back toes out. Hips are level with each other, bent knee is in line with the front toes. Chest is lifted, arms spread wide, parallel to the mat. Get long through the neck as you gaze over your left fingers. To a side angle pose, left arm rests gently on the left leg or going to bind the right arm behind our back. If you are able to reach, you can rest the right hand on the left leg or in the hip fold. Open up the right side chest, gaze follows. To a triangle pose, left arm down, right hand reaches up as we straighten the left leg. Get long through the right side of the body as you turn your gaze up. Lower the right arm and bend the front knee to a runner's lunge. You can slide the right foot further back and out so that each of your feet are in line with your shoulders. Keep the chest lifted, neck long. Lower the right knee and top of the foot, right palm planted ahead of it. Reach the left hand up, twisting the body and gazing up. Release the twist, raising both arms to a low lunge. Lower the hands, curl the back toes under, raise the knee, stepping back to a downward facing dog. You can pedal the heels here if it feels good.
Slowly walk the feet up to a forward fold, then engage the legs and core as you slowly roll up to standing. Adjust as needed. Step the left leg back to a warrior one. Open up to warrior two, widening your stance, sinking the hips low as you bend deeper through the right knee. to a side angle with the left arm bound behind the back. Shifting to a triangle pose, right hand down, left arm, and gaze up as we get long through the left side of the body. Left arm down, moving to a runner's lunge, sliding the left foot further back. Lower the knee, top of the foot, twist right, reaching the right hand and gaze up. Release the twist and raise both arms to a low lunge. Hands down, curl the back toes under and raise the knee. Step back to plank and lower onto your belly. To a sphinx pose, forearms planted parallel to each other, palms flat. Get long through the back and neck as you gaze forward. Lower the chest and press back to child's pose with your big toes together, knees wide apart.
Raise the body sitting back on the heels, taking a few breaths here to finish up before making your way to standing. 